Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we've got cloudy skies out there right now. Could see a little bit of light rain activity as we go through the late morning and early afternoon hours. But overall today we're going to see uh, this overcast condition that we're seeing right now until we see a little bit of uh, breaks in the cloudiness later on this afternoon into the early evening hours. But uh, looking at conditions for yesterday, we saw temperatures uh, warming as we went into the evening hours last night, 46 degrees was the high temperature here at Wallops, 51 degrees at Norfolk. Uh, those temperatures were slow to uh, climb yesterday and actually rose into the evening hours before falling back into the upper 30s uh, early this morning, where we see temperatures uh, currently in the low 40s, really slow to climb again today as we look at the nine o'clock observations, uh, 43 degrees here at Wallops under cloudy skies. Uh, Warmest temperature throughout the region, only at 46 degrees at Norfolk under cloudy skies. But uh, looking at the last 24 hours, we saw abundant precipitation throughout the region. Ocean City and Salisbury picking up over an inch of precipitation. Ocean City even a little more than an inch and a half, while it's picking up just shy of eight tenths of an inch over the last 24 hours. Upper level wind data from this morning's balloon release showing that freezing level at 12,400 feet. And our winds at the uh, low levels of the atmosphere generally running out of a uh, westerly direction. And as we go up in height, those winds continue out of a westerly direction, uh, starting out at around 39 knots at a 1,000 foot level, ending up at around 92 knots as we get up to around 25,000 feet. Current surface analysis showing that frontal boundary just off to our south and most of the precipitation also focused just off to our south as well. A little bit of uh, late rain activity could make its way north of the uh, area that we are currently seeing those showers and will be far enough uh, north to bring us maybe a chance of a late rain shower as we go uh, between the hours of around 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock this afternoon. Looking at the current radar, you can see some of the uh, very light scattered sprinkles uh, in the area currently, but most of that uh, light to moderate rain shower activity well off to our south. Uh, in the uh, Virginia Beach area and also down stretching into uh, northern and north central North Carolina where we see those showers are currently focused. But as we go into the next couple of hours, we're going to see uh, this front maybe edge just a little farther to the north, bringing us the slight chance of a late rain shower uh, during the hours of 11 to uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then as we go into the afternoon hours past 2 o'clock and into the early evening hours, likely seeing dry conditions continuing at that point. You can see by later this evening, the uh, forecast maps here showing that front just a little farther to the south and that precipitation also uh, edging a little farther south into the Carolinas at that point in time. By early tomorrow morning, we'll see another wave of precipitation make its way toward the region. We'll see a little better chance of some precipitation tomorrow morning than what we will today, looking at about a 40 to 50 percent chance of some uh, light rain showers as we go through Friday morning. And then our next chance of significant rain will likely hold off until Saturday, as you can see here on the forecast map. So we do have a warm front that is expected to uh, make its way north through the region. So some moderate to potentially heavy showers are expected during the day on Saturday. Most of that looks like it will occur during the afternoon and evening hours of Saturday with the morning uh, looking like the heavier showers will uh, hold off past the morning hours with just a slight chance of some late rain showers Saturday morning. Looking at the uh, forecast model here that we are expecting again those late rain showers to uh, skirt just to our south as we go through the late morning and uh, early afternoon hours with just uh, about a 20 to 30 percent chance of seeing some rain out of out of those showers as they move through. And then again we'll likely see a little bit of a break in the action until tomorrow morning We'll see that wave of precipitation start to uh, move toward the mid-Atlantic region and uh, bring us a pretty good chance, about a 40-50% chance of some rain showers tomorrow morning. And it looks like those showers will likely stay to our south throughout the afternoon and evening hours of Friday before that warm front makes its way through the region on Saturday, bringing us a pretty good bet for some uh, showers, especially during the afternoon on Saturday. So not looking like uh, we are shaping up for the best start to our weekend Saturday afternoon into uh, Sunday morning looks like a pretty good chance for some precipitation. That front uh, with this system, the cold front will move through uh, during the first half of the day on Sunday. So pretty good chance of those showers impacting the region 
for the first part of Sunday as well. And then as that front moves through on the uh, during the day on Sunday, we'll likely see some pretty rapid clearing by late afternoon into the evening hours of Sunday night. So uh, looking at some drier conditions for the beginning of next week. Taking a look at our next 24 hours, again, there's chances for light rain uh, showers to be uh, mostly confined to the 11 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. Uh, hours today. And again, only about a 20 to 30 percent chance of those showers occurring. And then we'll see dry conditions later on this afternoon into the evening hours before our next chance of rain enters the forecast early tomorrow morning uh, around 7 or 8 o'clock. We should see uh, our best chances for those showers to occur, about a 40 to 50 percent chance. And we'll see the ceilings uh, lower with those showers as they come through the area as well. Looking at the uh, forecast for Friday and Saturday, looking at a high temperature of 48 degrees with those showers mostly confined to the morning hours of Friday. Friday night, mostly cloudy to overcast. We'll see a slight chance of a rain shower uh, mainly after midnight on Friday. And then the uh, chances really increase during the day on Saturday where we'll see rain likely. Again, some of those showers could be moderate to uh, potentially heavy at times during the day on Saturday with a high of 53 degrees. And uh, our best chance for those heavier showers to occur will likely be during the afternoon hours of Saturday. So looking at the next seven days, you can see a pretty unsettled pattern here for the next several uh, days as we go into the weekend with those chances for rain showers continuing. As that front moves through uh, the region on Sunday morning, out ahead of that cold front, we'll see a pretty good surge of southerly to southwesterly winds, which will really warm us up into the upper 60s during the day on Sunday for a high temperature. So if we can uh, get some of those showers to move out pretty quickly on Sunday, we'll uh, potentially have some pretty nice conditions during the uh, mid to late afternoon hours of Sunday as we could see some sunshine appearing uh, as quickly as those hours uh, with that front moving off the coast during the day on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday look like they'll see uh, mostly clear to mostly sunny conditions with highs right around 50 degrees with cooler nighttime lows down to uh, freezing by Tuesday morning. Then our next chance of rain winter to forecast on Wednesday. A little bit of uncertainty currently on uh, the uh, exact amounts or uh, even the chances for rain on Wednesday, but uh, we are certainly uh, monitoring a potential situation where we could see some showers on Wednesday as a uh, coastal low potentially uh, brings a few showers to our area. That'll wrap it up for uh, briefing today. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.